Imagine for a second, you're walking to work on the first day of your new job, minding your own business, when all of a sudden, you get pulled over by a police officer. Most people would be scared or intimidated, but this man's story is different. How different? Stay tuned to find out. Walter Carr's life changed completely when Hurricane Katrina destroyed his home in New Orleans, leaving his family without a place to stay in 2005. After this disaster, the whole family moved to the Birmingham area to rebuild their life. Soon after this horrific incident, Walter graduated from G.W. Carver High School as the only boy in his class from the school's Academy of Health Sciences. When Walter started his journey into finding a job, he was determined to rise to the challenge. He applied for a job with the digital moving company Bellhops, a job where he saw himself growing and thriving. The application asked Walter to submit a video where he needed to answer various interview questions. He wasn't satisfied with his first attempt at shooting a video of himself answering these questions, so he challenged himself to go above and beyond. Driven by self-motivation, Walter was infused with an unstoppable determination to make the video the best it possibly could. This meant recording numerous takes before finally submitting his 16th try on the application. Not long after his application, he heard that he was hired and could start working at the digital moving company Bellhops. Walter had grand ambitions with his new company, so the day before he was supposed to start his new job, he felt full of anticipation. He couldn't stop thinking about how lucky he was to get his first job as a 20-year-old college student. With an exciting feeling, he made sure to get himself in a promising mindset, carrying himself with confidence and expectation of what was to come. However, as luck would have it, that evening his car died and he didn't have the extra cash to get it fixed. Walter knew, because of Hurricane Katrina, his family's financial situation had become not that good, and they could really use this money. Walter was determined not to let his family down. So, with a glimmer of newfound determination and hope, he reached for his phone, he went on Google, and found the distance between his home and Bellhops. It said that it was approximately 20 miles away and would take about 7 hours to walk. He was absolutely set on getting to his new work, no matter what it took. So, he decided to set his alarm for midnight. Walter got dressed eight hours before his shift was set to start, and he started walking. He took the first step forward, not looking back. He was determined to make it through, no matter what. So, he chose to equip himself with Nike joggers, providing comfort and dependability as he ventured on his journey. With every footstep forward, his confidence grew, along with adrenaline pumping through in anticipation. At a brisk pace, Walter commenced his walk, but upon reaching the halfway point, his legs quivered, sweat drenched his face, and his feet ached. Having already walked over 10 miles, the strain was taking its toll. In order to stay motivated, he fixated on the idea of losing his job on his first day, relentlessly propelling one foot in front of the other. Without realizing it, he had been trailed by a car for the past 10 minutes his focus solely on maintaining his gait. It was 4.20 a.m., and he had yet to travel several more miles. The car suddenly illuminated its lights and let out a brief warning siren, leaving him aware that they were seeking him out. Beside Walter, a cop pulled up and asked where he was rushing to, given the officer's rough and late night on patrol duty. Despite gasping for breath, Walter tried to answer without slowing down, as he knew time was ticking. The cop, unimpressed, ordered him into the car without caring about the reason for Walter's presence on the street at such a late hour. Assuming Walter was up to no good, the cop was surprised when Walter explained his motive for walking late at night, leaving the officer astounded. As an experienced officer, Officer Sean Gray had witnessed many things, but Walter's determination surprised him beyond belief. For the next six miles, no words were exchanged as they drove until Walter spotted the house emerging in the distance. A surge of relief washed over him, like a tidal wave as he had managed to arrive before the deadline. Walter expressed his gratitude to Officer Gray before unsteadily stepping out of the vehicle. However, there were additional unexpected events in store for him that day. The officer accompanied Walter to the door and informed the homeowner, Jenny Hayden Lamy, that he had walked 14 miles to aid her with relocation. 
she was astonished by his commitment. Upon the arrival of the remaining members of the bellhop team, Walter tirelessly began loading boxes into the moving truck despite his exhaustion. Later, Jenny composed a Facebook post that quickly gained popularity. In her post, she recounted how she and Chris had woken up early to prepare for the move, only to be visited by a police officer at 6.30 a.m. The officer informed them that he had picked up a young man named Walter in Pelham that morning. Walter, who was on his first day of training with bellhops, had apparently been stranded after his car broke down the previous night, determined to make it work. Walter had walked all night from Homewood to Pelham, a distance of several miles just to arrive on time. Jenny was amazed by Walter's determination to make it work, so she created a GoFundMe campaign to collect the funds he needed for his car repairs. Although the original target was $2,000, Jenny's emotional message resonated with the readers, resulting in an astounding $32,000 in donations. Walter's efforts caught the attention of Luke Marklin, the CEO of Bellhops, who promptly drove his own Ford Escape from Tennessee to Homewood to meet Walter. Upon arriving, Marklin presented Walter with the keys to his car, leaving Walter in disbelief and tears at the CEO's unexpected generosity. This was an act of kindness that Walter had never before experienced. Walter's outstanding conduct has motivated numerous individuals as the entire community came together to support and encourage him. After Jenny's initial Facebook post, it received a remarkable 2,000 shares and comments. One commenter expressed, Walter's journey has deeply moved me. It's remarkable how we often come up with excuses to avoid doing something, but there are individuals, like Walter, who refuse to make excuses and simply take action. Another individual remarked, Life is full of trials, but Walter has successfully overcome them. He is a kind and modest person. Jenny wrote in amazement, It's hard to fathom how many times during that solitary journey down 280 in the dead of night, he must have contemplated turning back. How many times did he question the wisdom of his decision? How many times did he long to discover a spot to rest or recline and simply wait until morning when he could potentially arrange for someone to retrieve him and take him home? Nevertheless, he persisted, walking all the way here. Walter's commitment to his work has become emblematic of the diligent American worker, and his resolute attitude has sparked a social media trend called hashtag be like Walter. Despite the accolades, Walter maintains a modest demeanor and brushes off the compliments, simply stating, I just did what I had to do. Walter's story is a testament to the power of determination and the kindness of strangers. His unwavering commitment to providing for his family led him on a journey that seemed impossible, but through his sheer willpower and resilience, he overcame the odds. Along the way, he encountered Officer Sean Gray, who initially saw him as a suspect, but ended up helping him reach his destination. He also met Jenny Hayden Lamy, a stranger who was deeply touched by his dedication and started a GoFundMe campaign to help him. Through the generosity of the community, Walter's story has inspired thousands and has become a symbol of hard work, determination, and the human spirit. It's a reminder that in difficult times, there is always hope, and that we are all capable of making a difference, no matter how small. So, if you're ever feeling discouraged or overwhelmed, remember Walter's story and keep moving forward. And always remember that even in the darkest moments, there are people out there who are willing to lend out a helping hand. Now, I want to hear from you. Have you ever faced a difficult challenge or obstacle in your life where you felt like giving up? How did you overcome it? Share your stories in the comments section below. Thank you for watching, and please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more informative content.